Just kidding, guys. Welcome back. It's Jasmine, Auntie Jasmine, your favorite. Subscribe, like, share. Before this video goes on, y'all need to subscribe to this shit, okay? I am three subscribers away from a thousand subscribers. Press the button now. I'm waiting. I'm gonna wait. No, sir. Anyway, let me tell y'all about this story because I gotta tell y'all this one. And this story is basically about how this guy who I was seeing, I'm not gonna say seeing because we weren't like exclusive. Pursuing, I think that's a good word, pursuing. Vocab snaps. This guy that I was pursuing, he was down low, undercover brother. So ladies, I'm gonna give you guys the signs so y'all don't go through what I went through. I'm gonna tell y'all my story. And this is for the ladies who think, you know, if your nigga is giving you a problem, maybe you're not the problem, bitch. She wants a boyfriend, that's all it is, okay? So don't think it's you, it's never you. It's him, he's gay. There's nothing wrong with being gay either. I love gay folks. They're funny, they're fantastic. They know how to dress, they're fabulous, they're sweet. And most of all, they're people too. So to the LGBTQT elemental community, I love y'all for real. Now, anyway, to the story. I got this message on Facebook, right? <laughs> you know, my DMs be jumping. When I say my DMs be jumping, it's like launch, okay? It's like Sky Zone, they be jumping. Anywho, I got a DM per usual, and it's from this guy, and he's just like, you know what? You're cute, and I'm like, well, thanks, you too. He was like, you know, you should let me text you. Like, duh, nigga, you look good. Of course I'm gonna let you text me. We start texting. He asks me if I wanna come, link up, he'll roll up. You know me, I love free weeds. So I sure did go on down. After a long day of work, you know, I hang out with him, he rolls up and he has some good ass weed. <laughs> this is the shit. That shit is called the eye. I don't know if I was tripping after thinking about this night over and over. I know I wasn't tripping and this nigga was really saying this shit. So listen, you know, we're smoking. Then we start kissing a little bit. And he says, you know, spit in my mouth. Bruh. And I was like, ooh, on the first date, that's kinky. Okay, spit, you know what I mean? He liked that shit. He's all moaning over there. I was like, oh my God, he must do this shit with everybody. Then he's just like, oh, can I put on your panties? And I was like, I don't have any boxers, you know what I mean? Like, I stop making me laugh. So I was thrown off, cause I'm like, maybe the weed's so good, he didn't really say that, cause why would he think I have an extra pair of boxers? So I tell him, like, you know, I only have one pair and I'm wearing them. Stacy, stop making me laugh. Oh, Turn around or something. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, I only have one pair on. I only have one pair on me, I'm wearing them, sorry. Like, I thought that was pretty weird, but like, maybe I'm high. Maybe he didn't mean like, you know, nothing crazy. Maybe he just wanted to smell them. I don't know, these niggas have some weird ass fetishes these days. This nigga had the nerve to have more questions. Oh, would you like to fuck me with your dildo? This nigga gay. And in my head I'm thinking, how does he even know I have one of those? He's actually wrong, I only have a little mini vibrator that I can take on the go. No, I'm not gonna stick up your butt. Like, no, like he wanted me to fuck with a strap on. Like that was the next question. Like, that's when I had to stop kissing him. Cause it's just like, Nigga, do you want me or do you want my brother? Because what do you mean you want me to fuck you with a strap on that I don't have? I'm not a dyke. I don't carry those things. I don't have those things. Like, he just had a series of questions and they kept getting worse. I'm like, is he serious? Like, oh my God, like, he's just so bold. Does he ask everybody these questions? He's just like, how hard do you want to fuck me? Hell no, till the no, no, no. Hell to the no, hell to the no. To the no, 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 no. And I'm just like, oh. at this point, I'm thinking, yo, bitch, Jasmine, this nigga might be psychotic. He might be a serial killer. Play along with it. Because this is what I always say. When I watch those scary ass movies and those dumb bitches be freaking out and panicking, that's when they die. <laughs> Let me just play along with it. And I'm just like, so hard. And he's just like, tell me how hard. I was running out of things to say. So I'm like, uh, too hard? Like, I don't know. Like, I really don't know. Like, how hard do you want it? Why do you want that? Why are you sitting with me and you want that? Cause I, I don't have, I can't do that for you. So I was thrown off. I didn't even get to the kicker, oh my God. So then he asks me, can you play with it? Can you stick a finger up there, babe? <laughs> Gay! Like he added the babe on it to get a yes out of me. And I was still like, uh, no, I kid you not. This nigga was like, you won't do it? I will. And he just started going to town in his asshole, like I felt bad for the asshole. Then again, the asshole's probably used to this crazy sick shit. When I said going to town, like he was jumping on it like it was a dick, like. <laughs> 
Like his eyes going to the back of his head. No, 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 no. None of my seats. Hold on, shitty butt. Like, no. He was also like jerking off to at the same time. I was like, oh my God, this nigga, how many arms do you have? Like, oh my God. He comes, I'm just like, oh my God. Then he goes, well, now I gotta go clean up. And I kid you not, like he just got out my car and left. He thought he was in a fucking hotel room or something the way he's passing on that ass. Yeah, I did clean up, clean my car. A couple days go by, he has to hang out again. I'm thinking, wouldn't he want to move on to his next victim? Is that what serial killers do? Cause I was sure he was crazy. So we meet again. What? Which is dumb. I know, I shouldn't have. Okay, I'll tell you the real reason why. Cause that was some good ass weeds. I'm sorry, like you were cool, but I was like, the weeds was what brought me there, you know? Look at that car. We hang out again. It wasn't even that weird the second time. All he did was jerk off. And I kind of got sick of that. So I was like, I'm not going to keep doing this with you. So fast forward to today because he got crazy, right? So he wanted to be posting this girl on his story on Snapchat. I'm not watching that shit. I'm taking you off my Snapchat. I'm not following you. I don't want to see it. You was just fingering your ass in my car. How do you have a girlfriend? so fast like is that even a girl so i took them off any normal person they would just unfollow me back go on about their life but no he hit me up like oh so your mad ass took me off your snapchat and i'm just like mad question mark does your girlfriend finger your butt i don't have a girlfriend does your sugar daddy eat your ass that's normal if that was supposed to be a comeback it wasn't straight guys don't finger their butts i had a better jab i, yeah, I don't know I could be wrong. Comment down below who think you had the better comeback because I think it was me. So then we're kind of going back and forth and I'm basically just like, okay, but I asked you before we started hanging out, did you have a girl or not? And he's just like, okay, you're right. What are you doing? Nigga, we're not cool. Don't try to what are you doing me into getting your fingers back in your ass because no, you can't. Leave me alone. Just leave me alone. That's all I wanted anyway. I blocked you for a reason. So then I put on my story how I'm going to have a story time about this nigga because he was really going crazy like on his phone he's just like why are you mad though and i'm just like you lied and he's just like okay i can lie you're not my bitch like what oh you're not my bitch you're not my bitch <laughs> but what are you doing like i'm not into this toxic shit i don't want to do that no more okay so um, i hung up and then he messaged me six times i didn't open the messages yet because i wanted to read them with y'all because i fuck with y'all so much yep so i'm gonna start reading them now so let's see Oh my God, why was he going in on me? I'm about to read them to you, y'all, Judge Free Zone. You that obsessed with me that, actually, I'm not gonna do his voice like that because he's gay and we know it. You that obsessed with me, girl, that you wanna talk about me on your damn Snapchat, damn bitch. You ducked them call, LOL. You knew I only wanted some sexual shit, LOL. So keep talking about me like a fucking loser. All I did was ask. You, why you deleted me off snap? You not my bitch, and clearly, I didn't want you. I barely text you or call you, just relax. Nigga, you feeling yourself too much. I'm not gonna respond to these messages because I'm not even gonna give you no more energy. Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. You got something to say? You can always call me, lol. Don't get on Snapchat like a whole bitch. Like, he still wants to be friends after all this shit he's talking. Why are you implying? I'ma toast you. I'ma toast your ass so bad. What does that even fucking mean? I'ma toast you? Bye, bitch. Ooh, shaking. He called me six times while he was calling me blocked and it's just like, boy, why would I be mad that you want to pretend to like girls and deep down you like boys? Like, like how dare you text my phone with the same shitty fingers that you put in your shitty ass? Like that is just disrespectful, not only to me, but to the iPhone, to the carrier. Cricket would be so upset to know that you are smudging their screen with your shitty fingers and talk shit about me. <laughs> I'm writing a letter tomorrow. I'm writing a letter right now, actually. How about that? Your phone will be off by tomorrow. Huh. Long story short, let me give you guys the motherfucking signs of how to spot an other cover brother. Okay? Number one, if his name is Pete, no, <laughs> but number one for real, if he ever asks you to wear your fucking panties, that's a red flag. A red flag, help me save, SOS, all that extra shit. Like, that's a dead giveaway. Nigga, you get Number two, you fingered yourself, bro. Like, that was a dead giveaway. Hell no, no, to the no, no, hell to the no, no. You should have waited to do that at home. Maybe I would have not thought this about you, but like, I'm definitely sure you like dick. You want to take dick. I mean, don't get me wrong. Again, that's fine. 
That's cool, but don't act like you like girls. That's what you're not gonna do, cause that's not okay. That's not right, do the butts, stinker. If he wants to wear your panties, if you ever even catch him near your panties, that's a red flag, it's not kinky. If he wants to finger his butt or have you finger his butt, tuh. Ah. Number three, just, you could just tell, period, okay? Don't let these niggas make you feel like you're the problem, cause you're not the problem, they're the problem. The problem is that they're really in the closet still. So everybody, you can follow me on Snapchat at kiss my underscore Kodax. If you want to see my day to day, Shanann Niggins. Facebook is Jasmine Rich. You'll know which one it is because it's going to be the picture of the baddest bitch, period. And you can add me on Instagram. I don't really like Instagram that much. At Mama Mick underscore. I'm going to have that pop up on the screen down below. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a mom to tell their auntie, tell their uncle, tell the grandpa, tell the dog, tell the cat, tell the roaches. Everybody like, share, and subscribe, please.